Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rolf Wüstenhagen. I'm the professor for management of renewable energies at the University of St. Gallen. Um, and I will be spending the next 20 minutes introducing um, the conference theme to you. This conference theme, Empowering the Future Contours of Tomorrow's Energy Systems. When it comes to the conference theme here, empowering the future contours of tomorrow's energy system, I, I wanted to structure my uh, thoughts around five propositions. The first observation here is that the post-Fukushima window of opportunity is still open, um, but keeping the momentum requires success stories. The second proposition is around the upcoming uh, climate negotiations in Paris. As Thomas Bieger mentioned, we had the simulation of the UN climate change uh, negotiations last week here, but the real thing is happening in December. And um, my assessment here is we are facing an accelerating climate crisis, but renewables can be part of the solution. The third proposition is energy transitions are about investment and divestment. And let me exp uh, explain that in, in a second. The fourth one is around political leadership that is still required. Um, and sometimes research on consumer preferences can help inform such leadership. And then the fifth one is about new business models for solar energy, which are uh, accelerated by storage and electric mobility. The energy markets are facing a fundamental transition towards higher shares of renewable energies. And that requires new business models, a new understanding of shifting consumer preferences and policy trends. The St. Gallen Forum for Management of Renewable Energies has been established as a key platform where the movers and shakers of this energy transition meet, where they get new inspiration, where they build networks and where they will sort of hear about the latest trends in the energy market. We're playing with the word here, powering, empowering, um, reflecting the, the two different visions of where the energy markets might go. They come from a more centralized structure with large scale power plants, uh, a relatively small number of players. And what we see is a shift towards more decentralized uh, structures towards many new players coming in, rooftop solar being installed by small customers, by farmers, by a wide variety of players. Um, so whether it's powering or empowering, whether it's more on the central or more on the decentralized uh, side, um, that is one of the key questions going forward. And um, the different contributions here at the forum really reflect this diversity and help people make sense of the trends in the energy market. Global climate change is on the rise, unfortunately. 2014 was the warmest year on record. And um, we've seen people dying from landslides in Switzerland, in Ticino, um, over the past 12 months. Um, we've seen a tornado damaging a village just 200 kilometers from here, a little over a week ago in Augsburg, Germany. Um, and more and more people um, tend to see a connection between these extreme weather events and climate change. One question is really how storage is going to evolve. We are seeing big announcement by some companies now um, about mass production of batteries um, who could lend themselves to cheap decentralized storage. But this is early stage technology. So um, from where price levels for these batteries are today to where they might be five years down the road um, is a big difference. And whether or not and how fast this is going to be achieved, these price reductions are going to be achieved, is going to have a strong impact on how the energy market is developing. We actually see mixed signals. We do this annual survey, uh, the consumer barometer on renewable energy in collaboration with Raiffeisen. Um, and so on the one hand, we see that there's a high level of, of public support for this overall energy transition. 71% of the people we surveyed um, would still agree uh, that the medium term uh, nuclear power phase out is a good idea. 48% um, would even want it to go faster, while another 32% are quite happy with the speed of transition as it currently is. Um, so there is this, this overall um, sentiment that's, that's positive. Um, but on the other hand, in some particular areas, like for example when it comes to knowledge about solar energy, we actually figure out that the share of people who are not well informed about solar energy is rising, surprisingly. Um, so I think more awareness, more education on the, the specific um, technology and, and um, scientific evidence on, on solar energy is, is needed. One of the interesting findings was that um, a large share of the, uh, the people we surveyed would be interested in directly participating in a community finance renewable energy project. Um, we think this has something to do with the current interest rate environment. People see that on their bank accounts they have zero or sometimes even negative interest rates. Um, so they're looking for other ways of doing something useful with their money. 
um, and participating in, for example, solar power projects initiated by a local solar cooperative could be one way of getting some positive returns on their, on their savings um, with maybe limited risk. It's also interesting to note in that same regard that 30% of the people uh, said yes to our question whether they th could imagine having part of their retirement savings, the so-called Säule 3a in German, um, whether they could imagine that being devoted to renewable energy projects. So there might be some potential for future uh, financial products in this area. I think what people take away from here is, um, for one, inspiration. So um, they come here and they get fresh ideas interesting ideas about new business models, um, new thoughts on what the trends in, in, the, uh, in the energy markets actually mean for their business. Um, they get high profile contacts to other people who are shaping the development in this market. Um, and then um, also some learnings um, on specific topics like, for example, electric mobility that we talked about or storage, ba new battery technologies. So it's this combination of inspiration, contacts and new content.